Most people associate Philip Anschutz with railroads, but his start came in an even tougher business, oil and gas. It was in his blood. His father was in the business and taught him the needed entrepreneurial spirit well. It's a business that you uh, can take risks in. You have to take risks in. Uh, I might add it's a, it's a business where almost by definition uh, being an independent oil and gas explorationist, almost by definition you know that probably 95 percent of what you do will fail. The railroad business came later meant to counter the wild swings of the oil business. The Denver and Rio Grande, best known for its famous ski train, actually is much more of a freight operation in a brutally competitive business. Again, it was entrepreneurial spirit that won the day. So there was a period of time there that, uh, that this was not a very good investment, and I was uh, worried to death about it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but you held on. Why? Uh, or you just cut your losses? Well, uh, another um, uh, strength, I think, is that uh, in, in businesses, you can never give up. I mean, you have to keep uh, going forward. Going forward is a theme in Anschutz's career, and he says most people fail to reach their potential because they lack the strength or discipline to see it. Uh, they're afraid of personal failure. They're, they're afraid of, of uh, rejection. It's the fear of failure, I think, that keeps most people from doing the things in life they really want to do.